What up? This is Benji. I'm back with another tutorial on Geist. And today I'm going to show y'all how I sample inside of Geist. Now, one thing I must say is when I do sample inside Geist, I don't actually really, really try to get things all the way complete. So sampling inside Geist is almost like an NPC type of workflow. So you're not going to be as intuitive as say like a Ableton or something like that, which is the doll of choice that I use. Um, so this method is really like a starting point for me. If, if I really want to sample inside of the program, I would do it in this manner. And like I said, it's just a starting point, just as well as me doing beats inside of here. It's really a starting point and I'll just take it to Ableton and finish it. So if you want to like use your MIDI keyboard to kind of trigger the sample, you might want to use engine one to do that. Now, I don't know how it is on everybody else's system, but on my system, I can't use any other engine to use to uh, with, my, with, with my MIDI keyboard for some reason. So I have to use Engine 1. My keyboard only works with Engine 1 for some reason. I don't know if it's different with everybody else, but that's how mine's work. This example, I'm going to use Engine 5 because... I already got the sample how I did it on engine one. So I'm gonna use engine five to show you how I got to where I'm at. All right, so let's dive into it. First thing you wanna do is make sure you are on slice mode. So when you do drop the sample in, it goes straight to the slice editor. And let me just get the sample, which is this right here. You could drop it in straight from your uh, from from any browser window, from any folder or whatever. That's how I do it, and we get to the sample editor, the slice editor, whatever you want to call it. Now, when you first get it, you see these little black markers, start the end markers. They'll be at the beginning and the end, but since I already chopped the sam the part I want, I kind of moved everything around. And uh, what it does is it, it tries to tell you exactly, it tries to give you start start points for your for your slice. So just like any other program, it'll look for the transient and then give you some suggestions. So you might, when you first pull it up, you might have a whole bunch of markers already uh, there. And if that's the case, you can go up here, take that off, or just go to your sensitivity knob and just slide it down. That way, it won't have any markers. The less sensitive it is, the less markers it has. So, and then you can go in and kind of put your own markers in. And the way you would do that is these plus and minus buttons right here. You got the plus, of course, that's the add. You got the minus to take away. And then you got the lock function, which you can lock, lock your uh, slices in place. You can also, if you have a tempo already kind of, you know, set, you can do that as well. I don't do that, you know, cause I'm basically, like I say, I'm using it in an NPC form and it's not very friendly or that great of a, great of a slicer or a sampler to do like warping and stuff like that. It's not, it's not, I don't think it's designed, it's not designed for that at all. So yeah, so you just go in and let me just stretch it out a little bit so you can see. Uh, you just go in and kind of just put your markers down like any other program. If you use Ableton, if you use any other program that does warping, you know exactly what this is. It's no secret or nothing like that. So, yeah, you just go in and put your markers in, and you hit done. Now, one thing I don't like is it will actually put, wherever you sliced it at, it will try to put a pattern or, or, or a pattern point in place uh, just to have a placehold because that's where you put your markers at I don't like that but it does that so I just clear all tracks and boom you know what I'm saying you got your you got your slices I'm gonna let y'all hear this um, so y'all can just get familiar with this with the sample <laughs>
yeah so that's the sample uh that we're gonna be working with today um now another thing you might want to do is make sure your levels is on full if you're gonna if you don't want it to vary in vo velocity that's one thing you want to do and the next thing you want to do is right here where it says pad and layers you want to click on the pad that way when you are over here messing with the tuning the mix filters and everything that got anything to do with anything down here it affects all the pads so if you do one thing to if you do something to one it affects everything and then you want to go right here where it says choke and put that to self and other so that's just like an npc choke where you got a sample and it might run over into the next uh pad slice point that you want to trigger and but you don't want that you kind of wanted to cut off when you are triggering the next sound so in that case you will go to self choke and others and other that way when you press the pad when you press the pad my bad when you press the pad it won't go bleed over into the next pad all right so once you do that then from there it's really just creativity you know whatever you feel like doing at that point whatever however your creative juice flow you know what i'm saying that's 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 the bulk of it really you know what i'm saying and it's not even that hard like for this example let me go back to my engine one where it's actually at um you can see that it's tuned up two semitones um and i don't know i i think i re yeah it's reversed i reversed the sample or whatever excuse the outside they doing construction i guess i don't know what they doing yeah so it's reversed the sample is reversed and there's a couple of little other more little bit more chops than the other one i just so showed y'all and that's basically it and uh i'm gonna let y'all hear what i done what, what i got to it Yeah, so with that, I would just go in, take that into Ableton, you know, do all kind of things to it, make it sound better, make it make it groove a little better to the to the drums, add more drums, do all kind of things with it to make it just better overall in general. But this is just the start of it. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Sorry for the background noise. They are doing constructions in my area right now but i hope y'all still can enjoy the lessons <clears throat> thanks like and subscribe keep commenting and thank you for watching peace